uh, days, I've been discussing with some of the uh, younger members of my lab group how to uh, draw really beautiful catalytic cycles. Um, and so this is useful um, in a number of cases where you're preparing, uh, you know, proposals, presentations, whatever. Um, but a lot of times if you don't know how to do this, you get these lopsided cycles that just look weird. Um, and so I'm going to show you at least the way that I go about making these look as pretty as possible. So the first thing you're going to do is, uh, you see I've got a bunch of pre-cooked ca um, uh, uh, catalytic intermediates uh, that we're going to use and some products on all of them are intermediates, I guess. Um, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going, I'm going to draw out the DMAP cycle uh, of a ACE or uh, substitution of uh, acyl uh, chlorides. Um, and so to start this off, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the shapes panel. You might not see a circle, but you see I do this off enough that under the drawing tool, I've got the circle pre-selected. But if it doesn't show a circle there, just hold down on it and you can select it and draw it about as big as you want the cycle to be. And so I'm actually going to pick a reasonably small one because this is really just a two-step process. And then what I like to do is select it and just change its color so it's easier to tell it apart from everything else. So then go ahead and the first thing you want to do is take uh, your different compounds and just put, uh, put them where you want them on the catalytic cycle. So I'm going to put the map there. Then I'm going to put the second part of this, the acyl pyridinium down there. And you don't have to be super accurate with this um, because da -da -da, what you'll find that we can align everything out there. So I've gone ahead and de decorated the things that will be coming in off the catalytic cycle, and toward the end of this, I'll show you how we deal with those. One of the things that are on the circle, uh, just go ahead and select uh, the things that you want to align on the circle, I'll end the circle, and then right-click them and pick a line. Uh, you can pick their uh, left and right centers, and then if they're on the sides here, you can uh, pick the top-bottom centers, and that gets them all nice and aligned on the circle. And so um, then what we'll do is uh, actually start drawing the arrows. And so we do this with, not with the arrow tool, uh, as you might think, but with the pen tools. And so there's two pen tools, and you want the one on the, the right, the one with the dots on the line. And you start by clicking where you, the arrow wants to start. Now, if you're drawing very short arrows, you can do this on one step. For this case, it's a better part of a circle, so we're going to do this in pieces. And what you do is you just build the arrow so that it lines up with the circle as smoothly as possible. The more steps you take in this, um, the easier it's going to be. If you try to do too much at once, it's uh, going to end up being harder than uh, it needs to be. But once you've got it drawn and it's nice and lined up with a circle, you see I, I missed a little bit here, but in, when you actually do this in your, uh, on your own, you'll probably be able to be a little more accurate. But then once you've got it the way you like it, you right click it and say full arrow at end. And now, bam, that goes along here. And let's see if I can be a little more accurate going around the other end of the cycle. So start here. Let's go ahead and take this much. I guess I apparently don't draw under pressure well. And so, well, you see, this is you're actually controlling the curve of this line based on its tangent. And so, uh, if that helps you imagine exactly what I'm doing a little bit better, um, you make it, and then just make sure you select it. That one looks a lot better and then right click it, oops, I missed. Right click it and say full arrow at end. And now once you've got the catalytic cycle in place, you can go ahead and delete the circle and bam, this side looks beautiful. I made a few mistakes on this side, so you can say that it's a little lumpy, but like I said, you should be able to uh, get these more or less perfect uh, with a little bit of practice. Um, and so to get these guys coming off the side, you can either you know use these uh, same arrows over here and just um, try to line them up like that, and you see you can bend them. Um, but if you want to use the same trick, and this is especially useful if you're trying to fuse two cycles together, you can either, I, I would have copied and pasted my other circle, but what you can also do um, is just do the same thing, where you create your half circle, or your full circle there, and then you just trace out the portion of it that you want. So make that a different color, more pen tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it come in at approximately and you can decide whether or not you actually need an arrowhead on there. I tend to like these without arrowheads, but again, if you do want to put an arrow on the uh, incoming reagent, you can do that. We can do the same thing over here, and the nice thing about this one where we've got a nucleophile coming in and a product coming out is we can take that same circle 
Oh, circle. I need a circle. Come on. There we go. My chem draw is apparently not behaving very well. Um, just line it up nice and tight. You can, uh, if you had left your original circle here, you could align the second circle with it. Um, I just deleted the original circle to show you the effect, but if you leave all of these things until the very end, you can align them very nicely and using that align tool. We go ahead and we put these right on there. No, oh, go away. Like so. And then again, the pen tool saves the day. Don't bite off more than you can chew, and you should be able to trace this out. Get my mouse has decided to not behave quite the way I'd like it to. And then again, uh, your full arrow at end gets you that. And we have uh, what is a relatively quick process of drawing a uh, nice circular catalytic cycle. Um, and this again, you, you can use this same trick here of using the circle to then create another catalytic cycle up here if, if something is happening. Um, and then you just make sure everything's aligned the way you want it. Uh, and that's how uh, you draw a catalytic cycle in ChemDraw.